So, have you reflected on this verse? Amazing. فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ And then remember me, I will remember you. Subhanallah. The first time I stopped on this verse reflection-wise, um, and Allah Rabbul Azza let me see uh, the wonder and beauty that he let me see in this verse. Um, I was so excited, like my heart to the level of dancing. I literally rushed out of the house to try to find someone to share this with. فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ Then remember me, Allah Rabbul Azza says, I will remember you. Recall me, I'll recall you. Mention me, I'll mention you. And uh, in the hadith of Imam Ahmad, as narrated by Anas radiallahu anhu, um, he says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Naqlan an rabbihi jalla subhana, hadith qudsi, yabna Adam, son of Adam, in dhakartani fi nafsika, dhakartuka fi nafsi. If you, son of Adam, if you remember me to yourself, I will remember you to myself. Like if you mention me to yourself, I will mention you to myself. Allahu Akbar. Like, imagine, وَإِن ذَكَرْتَنِي وَإِن ذَكَرْتَنِي فِي مَلَئٍ ذَكَرْتُكَ فِي مَلَئٍ خَيْرٍ مِّنْهُمْ And if you mention me and remember me in a gathering, I'll mention you and remember you in a gathering better than that gathering in reference to the angels. So visualize this, you're in a company, you work in an organization, um, and you do a deed which is meritorious, something good, and then the bosses or the head of the company mentions your name at the table of leadership or at the table of the heads of the company. You know, uh, Ahmed from that department, uh, fantastic job. If news of it comes to you that you were mentioned by the boss, by the owner, uh, you would walk around with your heart dancing, like you're in cloud nine. You people will see it on you. They'll say, look at him glowing, you know. Because you were mentioned, you were acknowledged, you were remembered, where it matters and where it affects you. And then imagine that Allah Rabbul Izza mentions you and Allah Rabbul Izza remembers you. Is there honor beyond this? And when you reach that level, ask yourself the question, is there anything else worth doing than the remembrance of the Dhul Arsh al Majid? Like you're in an activity, busy with something, in which you're remembering the beloved and the beloved is remembering you. Done. Ha? Huh? Ah, done, Habibi, done. So, um, I'll give you a glimpse of what Allah Rabbul Izzah remembering you uh, seems like or looks like. So the hadith is narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu. And again, it's a hadith Qudsi. Um, he says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, narrating from his Lord, قَسَمْتُ الصَّلَاةَ بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَ عَبْدِي نصفين. I divided the prayer between me and my servant in two portions. So when my servant says in the beginning of the salah, when you start with the Fatiha, when you say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, you have remembered Allah Rabbul Izza, you have mentioned him. What does Allah Rabbul Izza do? He Azza wa Jal proclaims, Hamadani Abdi. My servant has praised me. Subhanal Khaliq. 
my servant has praised me. And then you say, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Allah Rabbul Azza says, Athna alayya abdi. My servant has glorified me. Do you see? And this also highlights the value of dhikr in the court of Allah Rabbul Azza. That it is important enough, significant enough that Allah Rabbul Azza mentions it um, to the company of the angels. So, if there's a task you should busy yourselves with, it is the remembrance of Allah Rabbul Azza. فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ